It usually comes in the form of an email, a message saying you've got an invoice. But instead of a legitimate receipt, it's a bad actor looking to steal your personal info by posing as a representative from a payment app like PayPal. But when you follow that link in the email, it doesn't take you to the company's customer support. It goes to an imposter who is very happy to talk with you and um, will be very convincing in trying to obtain personal and financial information. Julianne Olander is a senior data analyst with Been Verified, a background check company. The company recently studied scam complaints by their users and noticed a spike in imposter scams tied to payment apps. In most cases, um, perfectly safe to use. However, people falsely assume that these apps are act as banks and they are not banks. And so they don't follow the same sort of uh, regulations or have the same sort of fraud protections for consumers. The Better Business Bureau says in 2022, it received hundreds of reports of fake invoice scams that cost consumers around half a million dollars. But according to the BBB, that's a conservative estimate because the vast majority of fraud goes unreported. Josh Planos with the Better Business Bureau says scammers will personalize the attack by studying their potential victims before the first email. We've received reports from business owners who got fake invoices for office supplies, domain hosting services, and web services. And all too often, uh, the scammer does do a little bit of research, though, typically, right? That's what makes them so effective. Consumer experts say pay close attention to where the invoice is coming from, like the email address. And usually, you know, one of the telltale signs is you look at the email address and it doesn't quite match up to the company. Also, check the invoice for misspellings. That's usually an indicator the person sending it is likely a scammer. Really, the, one of the best things to do is to just take pause anytime you might receive something that seems a little off. Another tip, if you receive a sketchy invoice, log directly into your bank account to see if the transaction is really there. Don't use the link in the suspicious email. We reached out to PayPal about this scam. They told us in a statement they're aware of this phishing scam. They encourage customers to always be vigilant online and to contact customer service directly if they suspect they're a target. With us watching your wallet, I'm Carice Jackman.